The more you pursue after righteousness, the harder life gets. I promise you, the more you try to depart from evil, it seems like the greater the test becomes. It becomes hard to resist the flesh. It becomes hard to control your thoughts. It becomes hard to just fight against anger. And the more the Heavenly Father establish you on the path of righteousness, the harder this walk becomes. See, the reason why it becomes hard like that is because the devil see what you're about to become. He don't want you to become what God created you to be. See, God created us to be a reflection of Lord Jesus Christ. The words say he created us in his image, in his likeness. Therefore, when we get back to our true identity by receiving Lord Jesus in our heart, we find new identity and become the light that God called us to be through Lord Jesus. So the enemy don't have nowhere else to hide. Because the darkness can't comprehend the light. So it will flee. And that's why the enemy works so hard to steal your confidence away. That we also find in Christ. See, it's a lot of stuff that starts to happen and it starts to take place when you continue on the path of righteousness. And if the word of God isn't in your soul, it will discourage you. Because this path of righteousness is not an easy path to walk on. Because the enemy wants to steal the word away from you. And Lord Jesus said the word of God is the seed. And when you allow that word to be watered by the fruit of God's spirit, out of you shall flow rivers of living water. But we got to stay connected to Lord Jesus because he's the living water. He is the bread of life. He is the vine and we are the branches. See how the enemy keeps believers frustrated at times is because he understands how hard it is to make sacrifices. So he will keep worldly things in front of you, worldly activities. He dress it up in a way that it looks fun. And he try to make you feel bad about yourself because of social media based upon what other people are doing. So you feel like you got to compete. You feel like Dag, I must took a wrong turn because my life ain't turning around. What is my purpose? What am I supposed to be doing? Look at what everybody else is doing. That's what the enemy wants you to do, by the way. He wants you to look at what everybody else is doing instead of keeping your focus on Lord Jesus. See, it's all about discipline. Our purpose in this world is to be a light in a dark place. And sometimes we may not know 100% on how to do that. But that's why we got to keep the Heavenly Father first. Because the words say, acknowledge him in all your ways. And he shall direct your path. Where we get it confused at is when we try to create our own path, though. We try to create our own way of life. That's where we mess up at a lot of the times. A lot of that comes from lack of patience. It might be taking the Heavenly Father too long. So we try to do something to speed up the process. But if you do that, I guarantee you. First off, the devil is going to see that you don't have patience and standing still and seeing the salvation of the Lord. So he's going to use the, that momentum to push you toward the wrong direction. That's why we got to go at God's speed. Everything we're supposed to do in life is already predestined. The moment we make up in our mind 
to serve the Heavenly Father wholeheartedly. By accepting Lord Jesus Christ in our life to be our Lord and personal Savior. And you could best believe the enemy will not make that a easy transition. See, the more you make up your mind to do what's right, the more trial and tribulations that will come your way. And you're going to feel like a sinful creature. Because the Heavenly Father also will use this situation to purge, to remove, to take away the things that no longer serve you. So that you could become more healthier in the spirit and in the mind and in the heart. Because what he say, he's going to renew your mind. He's going to place in you a clean spirit. He's going to renew your heart. Those are vital things that must happen for us to become a born again creature. So that we may serve the heavenly father in the way it should be done. But if that stuff never take place, guess what? The enemy is going to use your fleshly desires and try to make you rebel against the Heavenly Father. So we have to grow stronger in the spirit. And the more you walk on the path of righteousness, it won't get any easier. But the hope that we have and Lord Jesus is to know there is a better day coming. Because he said when you endure temptation, he promised to give the crown of life to those who love him. So we must finish this race by having faith. And this race isn't about how fast you are. It's about how faithful you are in this walk. So don't let the enemy discourage you off the path of righteousness because the heavenly father said he will give you a great reward at the end of all of this. So endure until our time comes because there is a purpose for all of this. Lord Jesus didn't stay down in that tomb. The heavenly father raised him up on the third day and he went to heaven on the right hand of God, completing his power. So by us having faith in Lord Jesus, that's what's going to complete us as a people so that we may be citizens of the kingdom of God. Not here on this earth. So continue to have faith. I pray this bless you in Jesus name. Amen.